So for the body, it's really important that you clean off all these viscera. Okay. So for this one, break off the mouth. There. Tear it apart. You want to clean all this off right here. For these um, shells, I'm sorry, for these legs, um, the body cavity, it's really important that you pull off all the, the, the gills or and other stuff, okay? All the viscera. Um, just like that. Make sure it's clean like that. So, first we are going to boil um, all the body here. Alright, I got my water boiling right here. Um, you don't have to put too much water. I put less than half amount of water in there, okay? Um, I'm gonna put the crab in and just kind of let it steam a little bit. So the crab does not need to be submerged. So that's boiling pretty good. So I'm gonna drop in my crab right now. Okay, there it is. All right, I'm gonna cover that. Now I'm gonna turn down the heat to medium. And once I cover it, I'm gonna set a timer for 15 minutes and it should be done. Also guys, when you're boiling crab like this, you always wanna make sure you use a pot um, that's bigger than the required job, cause sometime it boils over and a taller pot would um, help you prevent that. And you always have to monitor it all the time because uh, sometimes it boils over. Don't just, you know, put in the crab and then uh, put a lid on it and walk away. Okay guys, there it is, that's all done. It's been about 15 minutes. I turned off the uh, heat about five minutes before the timer went off. So we're gonna take this out and we're gonna set it inside this bowl. Use tongs, I wouldn't use your fingers. All right, there it is. So I'm gonna let this cool for about 30 minutes before I break open the shells and take out the meat. All right guys, so here is the crab meat. Um, I didn't wanna show you how I break it apart because that's pretty boring and we're kind of short on time so there's a the crab meat and these are the empty shells okay so make sure you uh, break all the shells and um, take out the meat like that okay guys next thing you're gonna need is this Misubi maker it's a Misubi mold um, it looks like that right there in the picture and you can get these off Amazon they're about you know five to eight dollars depending on um, what store you get it from and uh, what brand you get so this is a really good one here I got off Amazon and this is what they look like. It's like that. They have that up arrow there, okay, see that? So that's indication of which way is up. So basically you put it down like that. Um, you put your first layer of rice and you get this uh, little compactor and just press down onto into that mold and it um, compacts the rice, okay? So again, Masubi mold. And also you're going to need um, the uh, roasted seaweed.
Okay guys, so here's my working surface. I have uh, aluminum foil on my table. It's very important that you um, keep the surface um, clean and sanitized, okay? So I just put some foil on the table and then you're good to go. Okay, this is my uh, seaweed. I'm going to cut off three, um, <coughs> three rows of uh, seaweed here. It's perforated already, so just tear it right off. Okay. Now put this right over that, and we're going to put rice in the bottom layer. I use jasmine rice, you can use any rice you want. Get this press, press it down. There you go. Now we're going to add our crab. I'm going to add the top layer of rice. Now when you add the crab, you can add any sauce you want, okay? Like sriracha, whatever. Like this type of uh, chili, it's really up to you. So there's my top layer. I'm going to clean that off a little bit. And then I'm going to press it down. Just like that. As you can see, I have rice on the bottom and then I got the crab in the middle and the mushroom, garlic and then on the top I have a, a layer of rice. Okay, so now, okay, so now we're going to pull out the mold. So hold the press and pull up the mold like that. Okay, so now you take off the top and there is what it looks like as of now. Okay, so there it is. Now we're gonna fold the seaweed. Okay, so now we're gonna fold the uh, seaweed a little bit. Just wrap it up. Like that. Now you can also add water right here. Just wet your finger, add water to the top flap here, and that'll seal it. Okay, there is your crab misibi. All right, so there is my crab misibi right there. Look at that. Does that look delicious or what? Well, guys, I'm going to go eat this. I'm going to make a couple more and go eat it. Thanks for watching. Have fun fishing. I will see you next time. Tight lines.